Welcome everyone. Today I'm joined by two experts. I will introduce you just to one of them, that is Giovanni Silvestre, that is VP Business Development and Sale from the Wizlings Group, that is a cybersecurity company providing services worldwide. Without further delay, Giovanni, I would like to turn it over uh, to you, thanking you all for joining us today. Hi, Alessandro. Thank you for this nice intro and welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about threat intelligence. What is threat intelligence? Is uh, is information, is data that is collected and analyzed to understand threat actors, motives, targets, and attack behaviors. And at the end, it's a, it's a knowledge about existing or emerging menaces and hazards to people and us. Cyber threat intelligence help us to make faster and more efficient security decisions and allow us to move from a reactive to a proactive approach against threat act. For sure, threat intelligence benefits organization of all sides. At Wizards Group, uh, we are daily dealing with different types of cyber threat intelligence in order to serve our customer from a strategic, operational, tactical, and technical point of view. Of course, uh, in order to collect, process, organize, and manage the threat intelligence information and data, we help us with uh, specific tools. And when it comes to discover and anticipate traits, the contribution provided by Costella Intelligence is amazing. Therefore, I have the pleasure to involve in our Privacy Espresso Aero Zautendek, Regional Director EMEA at Costella Intelligence, that will talk about cyber threat intelligence regarding data privacy and breaches. So Aero, up to you. Well, oh, thank you very much for uh, this opportunity. You might not be familiar with the name Costella, um, we are a merger of 4IQ and Alto Analytics. We enable organizations to anticipate and mitigate digital and physical risks to the people, the assets, and the brand, and are a trusted vendor to deliver risk protection around the globe in a range of industries, as you see here. Uh, your digital identity and uh, personal identifiable information can be used for malicious actors for a variety of purposes. And this is an example. Uh, David Weldon, in an article a little less than two years ago, addressed the growing fraud with pension plans. Because these accounts have a much higher balance than an average checking account and far fewer security and fraud controls. People don't check these accounts and detect when it's too late. It can happen to everyone. It happened to an executive of a large retail organization. We helped them with investigation the incident and now continuous monitoring. And that's what happened often also, that after a certain incident that took place, people seek help. Yeah, no, sorry to interrupt. Maybe it would be interesting also to know more on how this happened. Yes, keep in mind. Big companies have so many resources for protection, and even to them, it happens. And how these criminals are doing it, it's like uh, scraping public identity data, uh, social engineering, doxing, pretexting, phishing, take over the device, get into the account, transfer the money in a couple of parts, so it's not noticed, right? That's basically what's happening. As a data privacy expert, you might say, yeah, wait a minute, we do have GDPR and insurance and banking companies must comply to these regulations. Clear, all the sectors too. GDPR applies to all European Union cities wherever the data is processed or stored. And the system they use must be designed with data privacy in mind. So yes, you're right. GDPR and DPA both emphasize on measurements to prevent data leakage as well as responding once they're breached, right? But breaches happen all the time. Uh, over the past year, we detected 66,000 breaches which contain 42 billion personal records. Um, our 2022 breach report that we recently published sheds light on the tactics, the techniques, and the procedures employed by threat actors and in detail analysis to understand what hackers do with the stolen information. Is it possible to get it? Yeah, of course. Uh, you can get it by downloading from the website. But we also made reports for specific sectors like financial sector, energy, telecom. So, yeah. Great. So breaches are happening all the time as in a visual circle. The number one reason is weak and stolen credentials. In average, people are using two to five passwords for about 25 business applications and often not strong enough. Eh? That's for instance in the 2021 report I mentioned. All the reasons are application vulnerabilities or malware distributed by, for instance, phishing attacks. And this is coming from outside the organization, but also from inside, like a malicious insider or human error, which is also a big category. And awareness training, for instance, is so important as long as these trainings are based on realistic threat scenarios. Not all breaches happen with malicious intent, but unfortunately, in almost all cases, 
it ends up in the hands of malicious threat actors. And the more it circulates on a deep and dark web, the more it can be picked up, ranging from script kiddies to large financial crime rings, and the higher the likelihood of attacks. As mentioned, GDPR and DPA focus on prevention of an initial breach and response to it, but fall short regarding visibility in actual exposure, leading to so-called dwell time, the time between the breach happens and the moment uh, it's noticed by the organization, which is a cause for slow incident response and even risk for higher fines. Meanwhile, a great window of opportunity for attackers, for instance, by using stolen credentials or very sensitive information for phishing or whaling or for recruiting a malicious insider. So we must break the vicious circle by continuous monitoring the external footprint of all our employees. And that requires something that is, of course, scalable and adaptable, so you can really fit to what you need. Also, uh, it must be easy to use it, so you don't depend on resources you can afford. And that's where Constella Dome is made for. So we built the Dome platform to automate the collection of billions of data points to reduce the volume of data requiring human analysis to focus on responding on actual threats. A Dome is an automated, scalable risk protection platform that delivers industry-leading insight on a range of use cases in a single pane of glass. Um, here we see the use cases. The platform is built on the expertise that we built over years in, in tools used by organizations. And the power of Dome starts with our data sources. We have automated the monitoring of thousands of these sources and collect billions of data points. Um, next, what you see is our machine learning and proprietary systems technology that have been fine-tuned over a decade of development that can analyze that massive volume of data from disparate sources and process it in real time, canceling noise and delivering actionable intelligence with the least amount of client effort. And finally, at the right side, the human intelligence team. They conduct um, extensive threat research and continuously update our technology to stay abreast of the latest techniques and tactics, as well as validate the data to ensure it's accurate. In addition, we have an insights team that works directly with customers to deliver strategic and tactical analysis and investigations and integrations with other systems. Um, here, we see categories of threats that we monitor for executive protection. Um, so the first category, the exposed identities, is about credentials and PII circulating on the dark web. Next is about the uh, exposed locations, like a home address or other real estate. Then uh, digital exposures on a huge variety of service websites. Online identities, for instance, sometimes these data brokers collect more than 1,000 data points on an individual. Impersonation attempts, like business email compromise or impersonation of a social media account. In the category social unrest activity in dark web, we monitor for activism, disinformation, hostile activities or narratives. All these different categories and very important create one holistic picture related to the executive. Sorry, Harold, uh, you mentioned some categories that uh, I think some organizations are already monitoring. So I was asking myself what makes you, you different from, from the others in this regard. Yeah, a good question. The organizations might have contracted some services, but usually with what we call siloed teams. So for instance, the IT department might have contracted a service that let them know if employees' credentials are exposed uh, as a risk mitigation for ransomware attack. While the corporate communications or marketing department is using some social listening tools designed to detect mentions and likes on social media, but not for security-related matters. And these malicious activities are offered by the same group over several categories and should be approached integral. The Dome platform differentiates itself in four ways. Uh, Dome has a global reach uh, due to the Costello human intelligence. And uh, we rely on these sources to provide us with data no one else has, as well as our continuous monitoring of thousands of data sources across the surface and deep and dark web and social media. The second is that Dome's automated monitoring enables you to move your humans up the stack and eliminate the need for them to spend precious time conducting manual analysis. Um, the third one is Dome's customizable threat model that enables you to tune the platform to meet your individual requirements and policies. The fourth one is about the investigation and attribution capabilities. Uh, for instance, do an investigation, hey, who is the threat actor behind this? Now, that brings me, let's say, to the end. And so in closing, Constella is a global vendor and works with partners around the globe, like Wizzling, uh, Giovanni and his team. And the beauty of the partnership is that with Constella, you can monitor your external footprint 24-7, and then Wizzlink can take the right actions 
to take away the risk in your network. So uh, Alessandro would say, grazie uh, mille eh, for the opportunity to present this. And if you want to stay tuned, follow Giovanni and me on LinkedIn. Sure. Thanks a lot, Herod, to you and also to Giovanni for your time. Thanks also to all our listeners for being with us today. I look forward really to see you all very, very soon again. Bye, everyone.